Alright, so today we have four different types of magnetic hard cases. So we got one Ultra Pro One Touch, Ultimate Guards, uh, Can Canada Cards Collectibles, and Evo Retro. So all of them have slight different characteristics. I will go through the differences between all of them and tell you which one I like and you can decide which one you like. So yeah, let's get to it. So first off, we have the packaging. So you got, everyone knows what the standard one touch looks like. It comes in this sealed plastic and the rest all come in resealable plastic. See? You can reseal them and put them back in which i like because like everyone else we're always worried about scratching the surface of the actual magnetic case so we don't want to scratch that so what i normally do is actually slip it back into its own case but it's always look it looks like that so it's just ugly you know it's all cut up whereas this you can just slip it back into its packaging and it's fine it looks okay so yeah, so that's firstly that's the that's the packaging comparison. So here we have them in out of the package. That's what they look like. Uh, the only thing different here is the Evo Retro comes with another layer of plastic that you can peel off, like like as though you got a brand new phone. You know, it's like ooh yeah. Which is nice. I, I mean, the whole plastic also, oh, the film wraps around the base as well. So if you don't want to take it out, you can, because you can still attach it. Okay. You can still attach it without actually having to pull it, peel off this clear film. So, which is nice, because again, when you want to pack it up together, it's not going to scratch the face. You could actually use like a hair dryer and like like even all these creases out and it will look fine and uh, it, they will fit they won't take up much space like putting them back into the package again and then putting it into your carry case it, it just adds more thickness right to the thing so yeah there was this is actually a, a nice touch that they had an extra layer of protection which is cool so that's that and then let's just compare the the cases themselves see the ultra pro has like this frosted border ultima guards also frosted but but not so i guess the frosting isn't as prominent it feels a bit more clear this one is completely clear the canada cards and and this Euro Retro also frosted. Uh, to be honest, I like it when it's all clear like this. Just because I, I just want to see the card and yeah, I just want it to feel like it's in, in a, a glass case, you know? So yeah, so that's what I like. Next, let's check the dimensions of each of these cards. So this is the Ultra Pro compared with Ultimate Guards. They're pretty much the same, same thickness. Yeah, the width is the same, height is the same. It's all the same. So that's the same, just frosting, different frosting. And this compared with this. And oh, that's a bit wider, you can tell. Oh. About a one millimeter wide i don't know but yeah don't, doesn't matter because this still fits into the ultimate guard treasure hives we have those and still fits in no issue and this compared with this uh, it's still well this canada cards one is still thicker because it houses the sleeve but the height all are the same Link per se. We have them all together. These are the color clarities. So I guess all different plastics where they all have different colors. This is more yellow than the rest. 
this one is it because of the let me just take that out nope it is still yellow so this is evo retro canada cards ultimate guards ultra pro so the ultra pro seems to be the clearest maybe it doesn't have that blue tint i don't know do you like the yellow tint i don't really notice it when the card's inside but yeah you can really see the size difference with this canada cards one it really sticks out so next i want to point out is how i store them in here usually if you notice i put a sleeve just right on top the card because I don't want the face to be scratching against the surface so I just have a sleeve just there you know the seating right above the, the card and then I and I seal it in Ta -da! that's what I do usually so the difference so the main difference between these other three and this Canada cards one is this actually fits the card in together with the sleeve you don't actually have to like it was just see that's the sleeve and it just goes it fits in right there perfectly nice I really like that idea like it was pretty much something that I've been doing and these guys actually just made a case that does exactly what I've been doing so that's that's really cool so yeah so that's one thing and the prices actually so I think this one I usually get around three dollars fifty cents um, ultimate guards is two dollars ninety cents this one was two dollars fifty cents is by far the cheapest I believe I think it was I think I got it because I can't remember I will double check but I got it for three dollars two dollars fifty cents this however is close to five bucks it's like four dollars eighty cents so that is the one issue if you're buying singles then yeah you're gonna have to pay that much so yeah okay so now let's compare the clarity i have got the same card put into all four of these cases and this one is just so to satisfy there we go brand new clarity oh yes nice and shiny so let's just see which one looks the best so we got the ultra pro very clear in my eyes with that frosted border and with the ultimate guards well, the clarity for all four of these are pretty much the same i don't think there's any issues Oh, yeah, I still got the pamphlet at the back. And then comparing Ultima Guards with the Canada Guards. So the Canada card has this, well, it's meant to hold in with the sleeve as well. So there's a lot more space. And oh, there's actually one more thing with the opening. This, this one actually is more difficult to open because it's got this little like fingernail lip thingy here oh, can i show you there it's there whereas at, all of these have like a little crevice for you to stick your fingernail inside and open it so it makes it easier to open this one not so easy so you kind of like have to pry it together with two hands uh oh uh oh uh oh okay yeah well there you go see that is one issue about this one but yeah in terms of clarity they all look nice uh, I think I still prefer full clear rather than having it frosted so I mean that's up to you which one you want but yes that is what I like and here's how they all fit into my messy box even with the packaging on they all slip in just fine into this ultimate guard treasure hive Oh, yep, see, let me close it. Shut. 
no problem really highly recommend this treasure highs for all your one touch or magnetic cards i like it a lot so there it is so in the end not sure which one i really like this because you can put put it in with a sleeve but the price kind of mess with me because it's a bit much this is cool because it's the cheapest but at the same time it has that yellow tint to the plastic um but i guess when you're comparing with the rest you can't tell so by itself it's actually really good uh, ultra pro is just well it's been around and it's also the like quite expensive next to the ultimate guard so the ultimate guards is kind of like all rounder i guess but i don't like the frosting so if they have one with no frosting that'll be nice the frosted border but uh i don't know uh, it's 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 between oh which one man i really like this one but yeah it's really expensive oh so if i have to choose i think i'll just go i'll most likely go with this with all the extra protection <laughs> if you care for all of that stuff but yeah if you don't if if that little that tint don't bother you then this i would say i, I would choose this one anyway cool that's that's what i feel up to you hope you all enjoyed the video thanks